Today we are talking about cleaning your glass blowing torch. Why it's important and how to do it. Let's get right into it. Ayo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Today we are talking about cleaning your glass torch and how to do it and why you do it. If you've seen the last video just talking about the introductory to glass blowing and what a torch is, if you haven't, go back and see that. This is kind of a follow up. Once you have your torch, set it up. You want to be able to clean it. That's what we're talking about today. But before we get going, smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and let's get right into it. So after blowing glass for a while, there becomes a somewhat of a deposit on your torch surface. On inner, on pre-mixed torches, there's, there's a lot more carbon buildup than there is on a surface mix. A lot of it is burned away. But what you do to keep your torch running clean, keep it running efficient, but most importantly, it improves the flame chemistry, keeps the flame chemistry proper. You have a wire brush and then you have a port cleaner. The port's in there, you, you get the exact size and you go and you clean it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. First, you just spray, even, even with scrubbing it, you're gonna see a difference, but you sit here for, I don't know, a good 30 seconds and I'll time lapse this and I'll speed it up for you guys. Alrighty, and so there we have the ports pretty clean. We've got it scraped down and a lot of the crud and the carbon buildup scraped off. Then we go into this, I'm not even sure what the tool is called. Uh, I might put it on the screen, but basically it's a filer. And you go in and you find the exact size of your port, of your holes, let's see. Give me a second, kind of hard to do this one-handed. We might come back when I have a free hand. Okay, now that I have that handled. So once you have the size of the cleaner, the pipe cleaner basically selected, you go into each port and it's kind of perforated on the side. You can see it kind of how it scrapes. <clears throat> Excuse me. You go back and forth and you basically file down any deposit that has built up all the way down. And on this torch, it's got seven jets excuse me, six jets, five around, this, uh, five around the edge and then one in the center. And you basically go to each jet and you do the same process. So time lapse this again, most likely. Alrighty, time lapse done. I also forgot to mention to you crack the tank open, the oxygen, just so it slightly is blowing. So none of the deposit again, it goes back into the torch line. It's all right if it does, but you do the oxygen on, so it prevents that. The last step, you get some type of, some type of tool, some type of wooden um, hammer, not wooden hammer, just something that you can lightly tap the torch with and you light the torch and now that it has been cleaned, you'll start to see a lot of sparks fly basically. But now that you've scraped it clean, you want all of it to come out. And so there you can see kind of like little fireflies, little sparks in the fire. That is just all the deposit coming out that you've loosened and scraped away off the wall. And like I said, it keeps the candles burning clean fast forward this alrighty and so as I was saying it basically keeps your candles running clean keeps the flame chemistry proper keeps all of your torch and in, in internals clean and running how they should efficient and chemically proper so that about wraps up how you clean your torch and why you do it flip this around so just a quick video for me today. I'm trying to stay consistent with these while I'm blowing glass, while I'm doing other things in the background, making these videos for you guys, having a home for glass blowing, just keeping 
consistent and keeping up with the videos for you. Uh, it's all this, all this stuff I've learned through my like journey and just knowledge that I've accumulated and I'm sharing with you guys. So I hope you find uh, value in it, whether you are a glass blower or you appreciate the glass art. Yeah, it's just something that I, it's been a goal for a long time to do this and to try to run a YouTube channel, try to grow it. I have a lot of uh, enjoyment, fun, and uh, yeah, I just get a lot out of making videos and sharing with you guys because I've learned so much from YouTube. So I just want to do my part, contribute to it, have fun while I'm blowing glass. The last four years learning to blow glass on my own, and now I'm gonna share it with you guys. So as time goes on, going back to the market watches, I wanna watch glass together, comment on it, talk about it, grow, learn, see the community, how it works, what is trending, just all types of things. Rambling on at the end of this video, cause like I said, it was a short one, but I wanted to just jump on here and make a video for you guys. So wrapping it up here, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, remember, Never stop evolving.